Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. This is another Christmas journal that I have uh, for sale. And I'm sure many of you already saw this cover when I was fixing the front and the back. Uh, if not, I'm going to link the video if you want to see that. So this journal is uh, eight and a half inches, 575 and you know around two inches on the spine so this is fabric then we have four signatures beautiful christmassy uh fabric <clears throat> i don't remember where i got the fabric maybe walmart maybe hobby lobby maybe tuesday morning i don't remember i have tassel attachment here with um removable tassel and i have the bell attached to it so then on a in a tassel i have different ribbons i have patterned ribbons this one says merry and bright i have some sari silk i have this cute thing i think from hobby lobby with the star so few things in here i think it's really really adorable and a lot of things on the spine I'm going to get to it uh, in a second here you have some ornaments pom-pom trim um, ornament so that's how it looks on the side. Really pretty, actually more pretty in person. And then I have a pen here with a, a paper, big paper clip. It's a cool, colorful pen, pen. And I have it here because this is kind of colorful too. So I didn't want anything one color. I just wanted this to be very colorful and jolly. So um, what you see here, I'm going to remove this. So you see this is all removable. You can put different pen in here if you want to. So this is what I was working on is the front and the back in the video that I'm going to link. If you want to see how I did all this and all that, it's in that video. So it's going to be linked below. So <clears throat> here I have, that's a card, Christmas card, little thing. And this is a card, little tag that opens up and I will be right back. I mean, I could start and record again, but I've already explained so much. So I just had to go stop my cats from fighting. So that's a tag. You can uh, untie it. It's It has stamped Merry Christmas on it. And it goes right behind this card. So I kind of like how this is visible here. Then this is Season's Greetings. So as I mentioned in the previous video, this would be perfect gift. Then this is a tag <clears throat> that I used uh, that came with a piece of furniture. And here's an envelope. And I'm showing everything in that video, how I made that. So I really encourage you, if you want to see how I did that, you can watch the video. Here is a tag or journaling spot with a sticker. You can uh, edit to a page somewhere in a journal. This would look really pretty here. And then you can journal on it. You can add your picture underneath that. So anyways, it's behind this envelope. Then in this envelope, I have journaling card and another, this is this uh, from the Dollar Tree paper pack. It looks like it has some flowers or something really pretty. 
so that's in this envelope so this is a journaling spot here with a sticker and this is a journaling spot and then here you have this tag so for signatures as i mentioned this is um envelope that came with this card but you know since I already fixed this um, in the journal, I'm including this here. So maybe you can use it somewhere in the journal. And then here is a tag and a Christmas tag. <clears throat> so you could even glue this together and you have a cute thing, um, cute tag. You can gift it to somebody. I think it looks really pretty with this sticker on top. And this is journaling card and this die cut. It, it's glittered on one side, so this could make pretty journaling spot too. So however you want to use it. And then I have everything clipped here. So in here so I think it's pretty page then on this side <clears throat> the other side I like how this works with this here I have a guest check and another tag and a mesh blue color and then this is old uh, Christmas card that somebody sent to me and it's kind of it has a little bit of that yellow goldish color so this is why i have this tag here because it's a lot of kind of this mint green so this is why i have this guest check here and then this but anyways if you remove all this this is very very pretty journaling page so you can journal here and then you can see it through the glitter so how cute is this and then, you know, the uh, wishes for greetings were here, so I covered that and I added two stickers to it. And this is from a magazine, so a lot of um, pages that you'll see in this journal are uh, pretty much uh, junk mail stuff or just trash or whatever. So a lot of recycled things. So this is from a magazine, some Christmas stuff. And this is why I have this, this brown here. And it's kind of vintage looking because I think it went well with all the pecans here and then here you have pretty fabric with gold so that's from some magazine but it says merry christmas and a happy new year so this page worked and then this page you can cover with something this is um gift wrapping paper that came with a gift christmas gift then this is um, an envelope, a junk mail envelope. So I covered this um, address or whatever that was with this piece of um, copy dye paper. So you can still open it up and write on it. And then I added a sticker here and that's the envelope the way it was, all this, that's the envelope. And then it was ripped here, so I added this piece of paper. And then, of course, you can add anything else in it. I have this journal card because the colors thing look pretty in there. Could do this side too. So you can either have it like this or like this, but whatever you put in there, you can put maybe even a picture in there. Then pretty double-sided cardstock. And here is that uh, ornament, pretty glittered teal color, beautiful. Then this is also from the furniture trash, pretty much, that I kept all the ribbons. And uh, if you're interested to see the video, I'll link that too. This is piece of fabric that I had, and this is on a uh, pin, as you can see, so you can remove that, you can put on your Christmas tree, it doesn't have to stay on the journal. So whatever you do with this, it's up to you. Then this again is from, <coughs> it looks like cosmetics, but it was pretty, so I kept it. You know, I always look through the mail, uh, junk mail before I toss anything, and this is so pretty. So beautiful page, and then you can cover this 
with a picture or anything else, then this is letter to Santa. This I purchased from Hobby Lobby, I just copied that. So here's the other side of that. I left this because happy holidays and seasons greetings or whatever that is, I just kept it here. You can still see little Christmas, Christmassy stuff, pine cone here. And here is um, the foldable uh, journal card and vintage playing card. So it's so pretty, you can use it in a journal. So I think this looks so pretty here. And here's another tag you can use, or you can just journal on it and keep it in a journal. Uh, here, that's the um, double-sided card stick I had. Here I made a little tuck spot, and it's a story. This is from Poly Envelopes that I'm using for mailing stuff. So I like to use this too, so I have it to be consistent. I have it here and I have it here. And also this is silver color. This is kind of dark blue, almost into silver. So <clears throat> all these colors worked well. This is so pretty. So that's the um, gift wrapping paper, Christmas stuff. And then this is, it's funny how this blue <laughs> looks just like the pants here, this same blue color. But anyways, you can cover this, you can glue your own things to it. Hoping that your Christmas is filled with much joy and love. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And that's the card that I was showing you. Here's the mesh. And here is a few things. That's, I was showing you this, that was from my I found it at a thrift store. So it's just a, a cool vintage journal card. And then this is double-sided paper, but it's kind of same pattern as the page. <clears throat> and then here you have a piece of paper and cute sticker. You can put it all together and have a cute journal card. You could even, if you don't like all this, you could make this into a pocket or a tuck spot or something. You can make this into a pocket. So anyway, so cute. So it goes in here. And I love this page. So this is the last page on the first signature, the second signature. Look how pretty this is. This is from a magazine. Um, so what do I have in here? A journal card with snow. You can use it also as backgrounds for your pictures. Then this is pretty tag. So I love this texture paper. And then I put two uh, stickers on it so it's glitter just like this so it's like same red color and you get oh I forgot to mention I didn't cut this part so you can still journal on it and you can journal on both sides you could even uh, if you have a page you could even uh, glue this to a page I have something underneath that you can journal here. You know, you can be creative with this. So that goes in there. So I have glitter here, glitter here. Then I have the dots here and on the uh, ornament. And this is another beautiful journaling card with sticker. So again, you can glue it somewhere. Oh, this would actually look really pretty here. You, you can glue it here and you can write on both sides. So that's in here, a lot of green and blue, this winter blue and uh, red. Then this is junk mail envelope that I have in here and a sticker, <clears throat> Merry Christmas is uh, as you can see, it's mirrored, it's not... Um, so you have these little stickers here. 
and uh, tag in there. This is um, wrapping paper, packaging paper, napkin for fun. Then just extra paper here and this is a pocket and I have this gold here because there's some gold in here and so you have two different things here and notes a uh, piece of paper for little notes in here so let me do that put this back you can really put it however you want to then I have this piece here because I figured you could glue this here or glue this here. I just didn't want to do that, but you could add piece to this page, piece to this page. So I'm just keeping it here. This is also from Furniture Instructions. And book page double-sided cardstock with this pretty snowflake and then this is from a planner page what inspired you today um, you can answer some questions what made you happy today and so on here again is this book page and this is golden book Page from a golden book and here is the pom pom trim on this beautiful cardstock page napkin and the wrapping paper here's the other side of the envelope the junk mail envelope so here I had to cover more stuff this is why you see all this and then I added stars here and fabric you can color this, you can glue this somewhere. And it comes with this eyelash trim. And here are those two ornaments on a pin. We have stars on here, stars here, star here. And another sticker here. The magazine page, middle of the journal. That's a bag. And here I have, so there's, you can put some things in there, big journal card. So for example, you can cover this and journal on it. So I have this with the wired ribbon. That's from a play that I kept. I can't believe it was in 2018 already. Uh, but see, I keep things like that. So here again is gift wrapping paper that I kept. This is <clears throat> from the sticker. Where was that sticker? Right here, you see this Christmas tree? That's from the back of it, and I added a star to it, and look how pretty it is. That's some color to it. This is from stickers too, as you can see. And that's a couple pieces of paper here. I think it looks pretty on this page. Book page. This is from the post office, and look how pretty. You have the ornaments, you have the colors for Christmas, it says holiday season, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, and happy holidays. So definitely something to consider when you get your mail, <coughs> a junk mail, uh, that you can actually keep for your journals. Then here we have a journal card and another tag one of these big tags textured paper with stickers then this i just added this because i wanted to attach this little baggie but let me show you this is a piece of paper 
this also for extra notes you never know so i'm putting it here and a pretty tag glitter so i also have this glitter here now this is uh, um evergreen fragrant really cute and pretty and smells really nice and with tiny little buttons that you can use you can open this bag and you can use the buttons for products if you want to it's on a pin so you can remove it from here and uh, use it somewhere else if you want to as well so it has this uh, attachment for charm then this was card here this is from an invoice so you can still write on it with markers and stuff that's a pretty book page that's that invoice here is um, a couple pieces of paper to journal on you can make it into cute things put all this together cute snowman uh, sticker and in this pocket We have a few things so this is one journal card with this glittery fabric i don't know if you can tell and i have it uh, in brown color to match all this then this is beautiful textured paper you can use it however you want to that's another tag with green uh, ribbon and then glittered looks uh, this, these almost look like snowflakes to me So let me put this back in here. And then here you have Santa tag. Let me see if I'm in the center. So that's from the post office. I already talked about this, little gifts and stuff. How pretty. Book page, uh, double-sided paper that's like pieces of paper that I have left after making pages into journal pages and um, some velvety green color fabric here cute tab then this is used um, envelope that came with some card and beautiful embossed paper inside thing looks so pretty with the snowflakes and then I covered stuff that was on it with, as you can see, uh, paper and stamps. This was on the envelope. This, this is how the envelope uh, was, so pretty. And again, gift wrapping paper, that's from the play. That's the paper bag. So I thought you can cut this in half and have two different tags. That would be cool. Or you can just, glue this down and write on it and make it into a pocket or tuck spot and last signature we have this cute ephemera here that's some uh, piece of paper that i had so you can check that out maybe make make it into uh, tuck spots or something and here is wired ribbon belly band pretty journal card you can use it as background for your pictures some journaling paper cake recipe vintage and then um, a vintage book page so that's in there that's from a magazine, so pretty. Then this is wallpaper, I talked about it. I'm going to link the video when I'm showing you all the trash that I used. And <clears throat> another piece of made with the uh, gift wrapping paper. That's again from some junk mail magazine. That's from a planner, 
book page with ornaments. That's again packaging paper. It's a uh, paper bag. So here you have cute images. I was thinking you don't really need this side, but you can uh, cut these out and make them into um, tags with all the paper that's included in a journal. I'm sure you can be creative with that. And then this is a cute sticker. Then here is some pretty paper and another journal card in here. So you could glue this here at the sticker <clears throat> on the side somewhere and you have a pretty page. So a lot of stuff to use, a lot of things. This is the book page, planner, look how pretty, so cute. Uh, what else do we have here? Lined paper, here's that gift wrapping paper, that's the uh, wallpaper with stars, glitter, textured, and fabric here, and little charm on a pen. Then you have another snowman here. That's an ice cream. Look how creative this is. And then here, cute little snowman. You can put something underneath there. And here's the last page when I was showing you how I made it. So this is a pocket and you have a, a few journaling pieces in here. Then you have some stationery. I was showing this too in one of my haul videos or trip store videos. This is journaling spot, <clears throat> tag in the paper bag, and then you have two pieces of paper behind that paper bag. So that's all in here. You can put more things in the bag if you want to. So if you want to see how I did this and this, as I said, I'm going to link that video. But that's the journal. It's available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. has a few things that I'm sure anybody can use and let me put this back. So I'll just clip it here. The pen comes with this cute little heart. And the jingles. And it's very shiny and colorful and happy. So as always, thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.